Hey Facebook friends, I'm up here in Wallingford and I'm doing what I call a uh, Lyman Hall High School alumni memory ride. It's really a memory ride that I'm doing for myself, but I'm sharing it with my, uh, my fellow uh, former classmates from Lyman Hall High School and uh, hopefully uh, they'll have as uh, much fun seeing the old sites as uh, I will. Today's ride is going to be about 20 miles. We're going out to the, out to the east side. We're going out to the uh, uh, North Farms Reservoir, we're going to the Blue Trail Range, we're going down Tyler's Mill, uh, we're going to ride through Lyman Hall. Uh, we can't spend much time there because the students uh, are there in class and in session and they front on people filming their school. Looking forward to a good ride. It's really, really, really cold for a uh, Memorial Day weekend coming up and uh, uh, it's very windy too. So this is going to be a, a challenge for me and my old bones. But uh, looking forward to a good day, and we'll see you out on the road. Here we go, up North Main Street. And it's the uh, week before Memorial Day weekend. And we'll go by uh, Dutton Park and uh, see if they've got that all gussied up for the parade. The houses look nice on North Main as usual. As you can see, uh, I'm all bundled up, it's cold. When I say it's cold, it's maybe 58 degrees, but it's windy. And uh, I tried to go with a t-shirt that I had on under this little light sweatshirt, and it was just a little bit too much. Okay, there's one of my favorite homes right there. And as I said, here we have Dutton Park. And there'll be some uh, Memorial Day activities down here in the park, no doubt. There's the memorial for uh, all Wallingford residents who served in recent uh, conflicts and here we go down on Maplewood Avenue and the next thing you'll see unless something exciting comes up is uh, North Farms Reservoir lots of family down in that graveyard I have not been on this road in years, and it used to be farm fields. We now have new homes. And as I said before about Wallingford, this is really not a cycling friendly area. No shoulder to ride on, narrow lane. But the cars are being courteous, waiting, passing safely, and moving out and giving me the required three feet. Like that guy. Well, here we have North Farms Reservoir. It's 
just read the sign and I'll correct myself, it's the North Farm Reservoir. I believe this is the old road, the old Barnes Road, but I'm not sure. I think I'll take a stop up here and grab me some memories from days gone by. Here's where it all happened. Skating on Sunday afternoons in the winter. Paddling a canoe out to the island. And just having Tom Sawyer Huck Finn-like adventures. North Farm Reservoir. And now we're on Carpenter Lane, going over Interstate 91. There it is. That hasn't changed. We're uh, working our way around uh, to, I think it's North Brantford Road, or Northford Road, I'm not sure which, where the, uh, Blue Trail ranges, and uh, I don't expect we'll have any shooting going on, but nowadays, who knows? <laughs> Lots of people like guns, and if you're going to shoot them, the firing range is the place to do it. Kind of working our way around the normal congestion over 90, uh, 91, and this is uh, Quarry Court, and it needs some road work. Bye. <laughs> I think we have what uh, what could be Durham Road up here. And I believe our entrance to the road that's going to take us down to Blue Trail Range is off to our left. Okay, you probably can't make it out, but up there on the uh, horizon is a pile of uh, gravel, and that is the quarry. Been here for years, slowly eating away at the mountain. And the Connecticut Wine Trail? Yes, indeed. Okay, this is North Brantford Road. Those gunshots you hear are people learning how to shoot guns at the Blue Trail Rifle Range. If you're going to shoot guns, you have to be properly trained, and there's no better place to do it than a formal rifle range manned by professionals. This is where 
My grandfather took me on two occasions to get some basics on weapons technology and basic uh, firing. So. Quite a process. The tranquility. The flowers alongside the Wallingford Road. Cars going by. And gunfire in the background. Oh man. Okay, next stop, Whirlwind Hill Road. Not going down the whole thing, going down just a piece of it. I've been talking about the wind. Yes, it's windy. Amber ways of grain, <laughs> I guess. So I stopped here because uh, on our alumni Facebook page, we had a, a little bit on ticks. Used to be Back in my day, when I was a kid, you could roll around in this field all day long and you'd never get a tick. <coughs> now, you go through this field, you're covered with them. It's crazy. I would never, ever walk through this field. So, there's the road. Let's get on it. Well, here's a stop I always make when I come here to catch the view from the top of Rowan Hill Road. Looking towards New Haven. Looking towards Northward. And the horse paddock that uh, didn't have any horses in it. I was surprised. And there's Meriden Mountain off in the distance. And there's the winery over on that next knoll. Now, I'm not going that far. I'm actually going to go down the hill just a little ways to Cook Road. I haven't been down Cook Road since I was maybe uh, 10 or 11 years old. And uh, I'm going to give it a shot today, see what it looks like. So, like I said before, only for the weights. Let's go. Get her. 